Welcome back. So today, I am going to act on the comments that I've received in one of my last videos. I came out here to the Yellow Hive and I went through it, did a complete inspection. I found the queen and marked her and I gave the bees an empty box right here so that they would not swarm because this hive is packed with bees. Now a lot of the comments that I read said that they may still swarm. So what I've decided to do is come out here and do a split today. I'm just going to pull a couple of frames of brood and bees out of this bottom box and I'm going to put them in a, in a nuke and kind of make a resource hive out of it. But before I begin, what I want to do is I want to grab this camera and I want to show you what I'm seeing and this is why I think they're going to, they're going to swarm because there are a lot of bees in here. There's so many bees in here and I don't know whether you can see it from right there that they can't even get on the landing board and walk up into the hive there are so many bees hanging in this bottom box so let me uh, show you that and then we're gonna go ahead and get in this hive that's what I see that is a ton of bees hanging from those frames and there's so many of them that anybody trying to get in or out of the hive have to go through a ton of bees it's like a huge crowd to get in and out of there so I'm going to try to alleviate some of that congestion today. Because I don't want this hive to swarm. They're great honey producers. And we just found the queen. Hi girls. Oh, and this hive is packed with bees. All the way to the top. So you see the girls working on the flow frames there. They're making quick work of them, I'll tell you that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's the thing you want. Our smashed bees. Smashed bees bring mean bees. Oh, this is heavy. Heavy. Holy moly. I can't even get under the queen excluder. So I'm chalking this population up to the hive heaters again. I know I keep doing that, but I'll tell you what, last year, when I first started, and again, granted I just started last year with brand new nukes, but uh, it took a long time to get a population like this. Alright, let's give them a little bit of smoke. And let's get this box out of the way. Ooh, the queen could be in there. Hi, hey, ladies. Too many bees. What about the? Okay. a full frame of pollen, a little bit of brood. This queen is honey bound. I think that those comments that I've received that told me to do this split were right on. Let me 
ladies. Just trying to remove some of your population, that's all. Give me a couple of nice frames of brood. Oh, there's a nice frame of brood. And remember, I painted the queen in this box white. Look at these bees festooning on the bottom. They're just hanging. This is a nice frame of brood. Make sure the queen is not on here. And then this, this frame. Going to move. All right. All right. Let's get one more. At least one more. Maybe two more. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me. Look at the bees just festooning. Okay, there's a lot of pollen on that frame. I do not see the queen. There's a queen cup down at the bottom, and I'm going to leave that queen cup and move this. Got three in there. Might do four because this population is still crazy. Oh, that's a full frame of brood. Full frame. Holy moly, this hive is going to explode even more. They are ready to swarm. Let me make sure that's going to stay in here. Let me make sure that my queen is in here and that I don't have any more swarm cells. If I have any more swarm cells, they're going in that little nuke. Hey, Your Highness, where are you? Got a bee right on the side of my hat here. I know I'm not supposed to be getting in here this early, girls, but I'm on a mission. And there's the dogs. Oh, more queen cups. I'll set that right here for now. Excuse me. Okay, they're just now drawing this frame out. This is one that we put in last week. Do not see the queen, do not see any eggs. Oh! There's a full drawn out frame. I do not see the queen. She may be in that upper box. It is entirely possible. Don't see her, can't really miss her. She's got a big white dot on her. Maybe if we find her, we will remark her green. See how we're in here.
tight. Oh, there's a heavy frame too. Holy moly. I do not see a queen on this side. A lot of, a lot of honey in here. Excuse me, B. You want to sting my finger, please don't. I do not see any eggs in this frame. What do I think I would? They want to swarm. I think. I think I'm going to move this frame over here too. Right, ladies. Put the brush and put you girls back in the hive. We've got girls boiling over down the side of the hive here. box. I didn't see her down below. Excluder. This box is heavy. Holy moly! This thing's almost full. Jeez. this one out. Beautiful. Get the upper entrance back. Get their air conditioner back. 
Yeah, it's going to get hot in Georgia. All right, well there you have it. So I followed your advice and I believe it was the right thing to do. Now they have plenty of space in the bottom box. Every other frame is a drawn empty. The population has decreased probably by a quarter in this box now. A quarter of the bees are now in that blue nuke and it's now it's packed. So I'm probably going to have to put a new nuke together. But this box, this hive, is full of bees in every single box. This last, this last box, they're just now starting to draw it out, but there's probably a pound or two of bees in here drawing that comb out. The Flow Super, this thing weighed 50 pounds. This box is almost full. We're going to be doing a harvest video pretty soon on this Flow Hive because these bees are just stellar. They are they're packing the honey away. This box was full of bees. This box was full of bees, and we saw this box. It was, it was just packed. So I believe that we've solved this problem. I do not think that this hive is going to swarm now. I think, I think the possibility of it swarming is, is nil. I thought I had it handled last week, but I think this week we've got it handled. Um, I'm really pretty comfortable that it's going to maintain and carry out through the, through the spring and the summer without swarming. So with that said, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, comment if you have something to say. If you think I've done it right, you think I've done it wrong, you yeah, think you yeah, just want to say hello, hit the comment button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you know anybody that likes bee videos, share. Push it out there. Uh, help me build my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, and we're also going to have a video about the logo change pretty soon. Some of you may have noticed that, but I've changed the logo and the banner on the... Uh, on the homepage, so we will we will talk about that. I'll introduce you to the artist who drew that for me. With all that said, thanks for watching. Be safe while you're sequestered at home, and be happy. Thanks for watching. Well, apparently, this little nuke is too hot for these bees. They are bearding on the front. I don't have a roof. Well, you know what? I do have a flow hive roof. I'm going to put together another quick hive for these girls right now. And then that way, they'll be more comfortable. This is just too hot for them. Because this is my cell phone, I will uh, let you know when I'm done. All right. Well, now the girls have a new home.